Hello, my beautiful soul subscribers. What's up? It's your girl, Unknown Goddess Tarot. How is everyone doing today? It is a lovely, a lovely day. Lovely day. Lovely day. I hope y'all woke up in a good vibes today. Yes, honey. And own your shit. All right? Own your energy, honey. Do your thing, boo. All right? Don't let nobody stop you. Anyway, so... If this is your first time joining, welcome to my beautiful new soul subscribers. I welcome y'all with love and light. And to my beautiful soul subscribers, thank you for your continued support and your love for my channel. I really, truly appreciate y'all. All right now. So, whoo, yeah, see the tingling is beginning, honey. It's beginning. So I keep hearing the song, ain't none of your friends business. Ain't none of your friends business what we be talking about. But at the same time, I felt a little tiny mustard seed, just a, just a tiny bit. It's, it's that one, that, that tiny little faint little energy that you feel. It just comes so, t it's just so faint, like a little mustard seed. Because the person, when I hear, ain't none of your friend's business, something saying to me, this partner, mm -hmm. they, they don't, they don't want your friend's can see through your partner, but you can't see what your people see. So they, your partner's trying to make it seem like your friends are hating on them or hating on your relationship. But the little tiny mustard seed tell me something is off with this partner. They're trying to isolate you. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. That's, that's, that's what I heard. Mm -hmm. And then, um, yeah, I feel like I have several different readings out here to do today. There was, um... But that, that's what I'm hearing. So that's what I'm told to do. That's what I'm told to do. All right, yeah. So so let's let's get this energy on this person that's saying it's none of your friend's business. I feel like this is a partner trying to isolate you. It's just a little mustard seed just came across after hearing that those lyrics. Mm -hmm. They're trying to isolate you. You see that at the bottom of my collective? That plus two? That four? Yeah. Mm, maybe this person is needing some type of stability and they're trying to isolate you from somebody, from your family, from your friends. Mm -hmm. Y'all are in a marriage maybe or in a commitment with this person. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But they, they, they want you to themselves. I feel, I feel a bit selfish energy when it comes to this heart and this seven. Okay, this seven, I take this as a seven of swords, but it's a deceptive energy to the heart. Yeah, yeah. They want, they, they want to keep you right here with this 14, this temperance energy that I'm picking up on. Yeah, they're very defensive when it comes to you as well, my collective. Or this could be somebody you know external to you, okay, my collective. It could be a friend. You you probably this friend that is trying to let this person see through this illusions about this lover. Or this is your friends trying to tell you this person is full of shit, okay? They're full of shit. All they're full of is all this wishful thinking and all these illusions. And yeah, all the, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, they're full of shit because they need stability. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. And I feel like your friends or you're telling your friend, look, you need to let that go. Because I noticed ever since you got with this person, okay, we we hardly see you. We hardly hear from you. And we don't get no type of messages from you. We send you, yeah. That's why I feel, oh, Lord, have mercy. Yeah, trying to, yeah, trying to, yeah, keep you to themselves. Selfish. They don't want you around nobody else. All right, now, let's see. This could be your, this is, this is your friend, okay? Take a high record of my collective. Oh, oh, falling through the cracks. Okay. All right. What fell on the back? These cards turned up. Lord have mercy. Look at this deception. Look at, let me take them up how I seen it, honey. The, the, I know I ain't tripping out here. Mm, I know I ain't yabba dabba doing out in this. I know. Because look, this is this whole step fell out. Okay, let's do, let's do a little pre-spread out here. Let's do this, okay? Mm -hmm. Let's do this pre-spread out here. Seven. Didn't I tell you that seven, that seven, that person is somebody you sleeping with or your friend sleeping with that root chakra out here? They need some type of stability. 
Mm -hmm. And they're trying to keep your friend or trying to keep you isolated under all these illusions. Try, very defensive when it comes to your friend or your person. Yeah, because they under this, they need some type of balance out here with the Six of Pentacles energy. But they under this, this, this. <sighs> You see that blue, that controlling, mind-manipulating energy. Yeah, yeah, that Six of Pentacles energy, right? Yeah. Why? Because, they look, they're broke. They're unable to make any change in their life. They're very codependent. This wild card, when you play this wild card in Uno, Uno My Collective, okay, no matter which way it falls, you, you can manifest the game and change the game out here, right? Yeah, you can change the game like, uh-huh, I got control, right? Yeah, this person wants to have control over your friend or over you. Look at that. They are very manipulating. One, two, three. They're unable to bring forth their stability on their own. That's that three of wands in reverse to me. Yeah, that's that three of wands right here. They're unable to make any change, okay? Yeah, they, they're, they're unable to bring forth their stability. This is like a six of swords in the reverse, it's really choppy around there mentally, but I feel like it's deceptively with the secrets and the lies with that high priestess out here in reverse. Yeah, with that blue, that thoughts, them thought. Yeah. So I feel like this so-called lover, yeah, is giving this your friend or giving you these false illusions because they need this three of pentacles. They need somebody to collaborate with them and team up with them because they're unable to bring themselves to their own stability. All right. Three, four. They're unable to bring themselves to their own stability. <sighs> wow. Okay. <laughs> so this person is really a little... That's why I feel like they're like, you know... You know, saying you probably telling your person or your friends are telling you like, yo, this person's right here. Like, you, they isolate you. Okay? Let me get the, let me get the chakras on... Let me get the shoppers on this, 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 this lover. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. That's trying to isolate you. Mm-hmm. Give me the energy overall spread on this lover. Yeah. Look at that. They need you. They, they want to control your whole entire being. They don't want you to make any changes out here. They just want to control you all over. This is control. Like I said, when you put, when you play this, when you play this card in Uno, you have control over the game to change the game. Right? Yes. Yes, you do. What else is under the, oh my goodness. I feel like this person is very codependent with that six of cups energy that I pull. Clarify this. Whoop, that flew out real quick enlightenment you're for somebody's trying to enlighten you that this person is trying to use you for what you got that's why they're trying to isolate you because they know that you got the ability to change the game and help them out in their situations yeah they know that you give them that good love that you bring that stability mm -hmm. you help them to manifest through their hardest times yeah mm -hmm. they can feed off of your money and your heart is kind and giving yeah you go out here and help this person out to the fullest right because they're sucking off of your energy and i feel like friends and family is trying to tell this person you need to wake up this person is only using you for all that you got mm, look at that yeah workaholic Look at them, busting their ass. To oh, Lord have mercy. What else is going on, Spirit? What's going on with the love energy with this person? Mm -hmm. Spirit is like, you need to wake up and get enlightened. You need to see this. Okay, yeah, this person. Let's clear. Let's clear. Look at that. They fell out on their own, my collective. It says very soon, clearly decide what you want so that it comes to you now. Free yourself. It's time to take back control of your life. Okay? So I feel like this person is just really trying to keep you, my collective, or this person just trying to keep this person isolated away from friends and family. And that's why they're so hell-bent on keeping you right here. All right? And your friends and family's like, yo, you need to clearly decide what's... What. I feel like this person is using this manipulating game. All right? Yeah, this person is very manipulating. Very soon, clearly decide what you want so that it comes to you now. Like, I feel like they... In other words, they're saying, like, what, you going to choose between me or your family? You know what I'm saying? What, which, what, 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 what direction are you going to take? Oh, my goodness. Let's go a little further. Let's pull some tarot out here. I feel like this is this is the, the yeah. Somebody need to see the truth about this person. Mm. 
Let's go a little further out here in my collective. Let's see, because this this is, I feel like this person out here talking about it ain't none of your friend's business. Yeah, they, they got some secrets lurking out here. They're controlling. They're broke. Yeah. Yeah. They out here, un they unstable. That two of pentacles in reverse, yeah, they unstable. They ain't got no money. Oh, my God. Look at that. They need you to balance that. They, yeah, look at that. Ten of swords. This person is moving very deceptively. And I feel like right here, yeah, free yourself. F family and friends is trying to tell this person to free yourself because this person is very deceptive. And you need to see the truth because they're only using you to balance out their situation and their money confusions. They need to. Lord have mercy. Mm, 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 mm. Yeah. Yeah, free yourself. You need to be single because this person, I feel like you're, I feel like when they, when they, when, maybe when they met your friend or met you, they seen you that you were going through this hard time at the time, but you was, you had money. You had some type of stability, even though you was going through this deception before a cycle that you ended before. And this person was using this manipulation coming in like, oh, really? And you were telling them all your problems from the past. But the whole time this person was right here, they were secretly plotting on you how to use you. Because you were sitting here in this nostalgic energy telling them about your deceptive past and what you've been through before. They was they was listening keenly on how to come in and manipulate you because they seen you with this nine of pentacles single luxurious lifestyle. That's that material thing. That's that material wealth. Right. But they came in here like they was going to help you build a peaceful, be peaceful, content, happy. Right. And spirit is like, you need to do that. You need to free yourself and free yourself because this person is out here with this two of pentacles energy. Right. Yeah. Money confusions, juggling two situations or ideas around with that workaholic card. This person want to live this luxurious life off of your pockets. And Spirit is like, you need to see that and free yourself. Friends and family is trying to tell this person, this person is de very deceptive. They're very deceptive. Wow. Like, well, like I said, you see this right here? Yeah. This, this, this young man to 25 years, and it's right here again, this young man to 25 years. Oh, yeah, they only want, they, they, they come with that little basic good news, that basic shit. Yeah, because this person ain't really giving you the stability that you want. They ain't really trying to work hard, hard on this situation out here with you to give you this happiness. No, they not. No, they're not. They're not really trying to work hard on it. It's that in and out, like, yo, yo, tell your friends to stay out of our business. Why are they all up in our business? Why, why every, because you, they keep breadcrumbing you with this little petty apology and you probably have a child with this person and people, friends and families like, yo, you need to see this person for who they are. They only trying to use you living this luxurious lifestyle off of your pinnacles, off your pockets, off of your pinnacles, off of your pockets, laid up in your home, living that luxurious life. This person was very, very manipulating. Yeah, they were. Yeah, they were. They came in with that fast talk. They came in. So this is speedy situation or finish, right? Yeah. So they came in swiftly with that mental, because I feel like you was going, You, I feel like you went through something in the past. Okay. You had a heartbreak. You ended a situation. And when you met this, 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 this person, okay. When you met this, here go the magician, very manipulating. When you met them, they were listening keenly over your heartbreak that you was telling them all, all about in your past right here in the six of cups. Okay. You was telling them about that. And they was here listening, plotting and planning, manipulating you for, if you said, look, I went through a heartbreak already. He didn't even buy me flowers. You know what I'm saying? I was, I would have like, you know, he didn't even listen to me. You know, she didn't even listen to me. You know, she didn't even come out and support me. And this, all of a sudden, this person is always there. They popping up. If you told them your mom passed away and to God forbid, you know, God forbid, I'm just using this as an example. If you, if you told them that your mom passed away, you know, and tulips were her favorite flowers and you keep them around just to remind yourself of your mom, this is what this person is doing. And that's why, and they, and your, and the friends are trying to let you know, like, look, can't you see? This person is only trying to use you. They come with that fast talk, little petty apology, and they laying up here while you at work, busting your ass, and this person is laid up, living this luxurious life off of you. 
Okay? Yeah. Yeah, you out here trying to juggle around the money situation and juggling around the confusion. Eight, nine, ten. Bring it in the ten of pentacles right here. You're the only one doing it. And friends is like, family is trying to warn this person. Like, yo, you need to let go. Because this little page right here ain't even on your level. You are queen of pentacles. Why you putting up with this mess? You are queen of cups. Why you, you, why you sitting here giving this person all your love, all your healing? Didn't I tell you feeding them your full abundance? They feeding off of your full abundance right here, my collective. Or, or this friend of yours. Because this person is very, very manipulating. They preyed on your vulnerability or they preyed on your friend's vulnerability. Yes, they did. And they came in that with that mind manipulation real quick and captured you with the petty shit. And that's why they all defensive. This emperor did not tell you very controlling and manipulating because they sitting here on this bread off of your friend's bread or off of your bread. That's why they're very dis defensive and controlling when you try to tell your friend, look, you need to end that. Make a final judgment out here and end that and pour that shit out because this person out here with the star card and the secret of terror says brightness, hope could bring... Um, hope could bring excess. So be careful not to become too greedy. And I feel like somebody, your friends and your family is trying to warn you to let you know this right here, this emperor right here, this controlled, narcissistic, dependent freak is depending on your pinnacles out here. Okay? Yeah. Eight, nine, ten. Ten. Sitting up here like a king, like living off of your shit. Take it how it resonates. Because that, that emperor is somebody, you. this is you right here, very stable. Taking care of this person right here. You very stable. And every time you, you, your friends try to tell you like, yo, you need to let that go. Can't you see this person is acting like they single out here, cheating on you, giving their love to other people. Probably got another baby mama out here too. But you out here working hard. I work hard for the money. You all seen that workaholic at the bottom of the deck right here. Working hard while this person sitting at home on this throne, living off of you. Really? And defensive as fuck whenever... That's why they keep telling you, ain't none of your friends' business. Ain't none of your friends' business. What we be talking about. Wow. Look at that. Look at that. Call a final judgment out here. Because somebody really is stressing over this situation, okay? Somebody really is unhappy and won't take the blindfolds off out here. Here go the empress. If you're married to this, to this person... Okay, if you're married to this emperor, they all they they got you right here working like a workaholic and got this empress really blinded, taking you for a fool. And I feel like somebody's holding on to like a marriage. They holding on strongly because they feel like this is what they got to do. They got to support their person. They into this old paradigm of thinking, sitting right here in this 9, 10, 11. The spirit is like, yo, you need to see this and let go of this marriage. This, this emperor is very controlling. And they only married you for your money. Look at it. Spirit is like, call justice. Make a final decision out here. Legal situation or documents. Police finding out the truth. Matters of affecting the balance. Didn't I tell you? Matters affecting the balance out here. 11, 12, 13. Death. World card. In that shit. And I think that's, that's exactly what friends or family is, is trying to tell this person. Yeah. Controlling, manipulating, want to hold, d d dominate your money. But you're the one out here working, working for it. You're the only one out here working for it. Because when you met this person, they didn't have shit. All they had to offer was this right here. This is all they had to offer. A two of pentacles. Uh, uh, um, I mean, a page of cups. Okay? Yeah. And then when you see we split this deck, all of a, it was in the reverse. They didn't have shit when they met you. Okay? All of a sudden, they with you now. They went from a two to a, to a, to a ten with you to a king of pentacles. Really? Somebody needs to open their eyes because they're really not happy with this person. Somebody is tired of seeing you hurt. This best friend is tired of seeing you hurt, stressing, and living under all these illusions and manipulations. Somebody needs to end that situation, my collective. Somebody needs to end it. You're, somebody's trying to warn you or you're trying to warn a friend. This person came in and they married you. You married them because you really thought this person was your true uh, two of cups. But this person, I don't see no love out here. It's all money. That's why Spirit is like, yo, open your eyes. Stop being blinded to this shit. End the cycles. End that. 
Stop being blind and free yourself. You need to be enlightened. Somebody is really seriously holding on to a marriage out here and stressing and unhappy and still acting like it's all good and trying to keep up for the Joneses out here. Acting like it's all good, putting on a show when they know they need to call justice and call, and call a judgment out here. Where's the judgment card? They need to end it. Because this person that this emperor, he's acting like he's single. He acting like he's single out here. Sitting up on these pentacles out here. Acting like he's single. Spirit is like, nah, nah. When you met them, they was under money restrictions. And now they went from a two, two of pentacles to a ten. Living the life off of your energy. Off of what you work for, my empress. What you put in your leadership, your power. You brought this enlightenment to this person's life. Now they sitting here like they the shit. Now they sitting here and they got all their other lovers too. And spirit is trying to let you know, friends and family is trying to let this person know. You need to let it go. Money frustrations and testing the waters. Money frustrations and testing the waters. Seven of Pentacles. Working, uh, work frustrations. Hard work needing to be done either at work or in a situation. And that's why this person, I told you I felt some deception. I knew I felt some deception out here. Feeding off of what you took leadership, what you worked out here and brought and brought this happiness to your life. You put the hard work into this situation. And this King of Pentacles emperor right here sitting here while you the empress, because that's how it came out. That's how they came out. They met you when you were single and already had a little something going on for yourself. And they just came right in with their lover's energy, listening to your past, your past relationship, whatever you told them out here in the past that happened to you with this past lover. And they just was listening and listening. And yes, honey, they just they knew how to manipulate their way into this empress life and got you to marry them, got you to marry them. You was already right here, Queen of Wands, single, beautiful by yourself but you was going through something in the past you was dealing with a heartbreak yeah you just ended something and this is how this person caught you off guard you was i told you any little thing you were saying to them like if you said you know my last person he didn't even buy me flowers but every time you see them they bringing you flowers that was a manipulation that was a heavy heavy manipulation when they was coming in they was listening to you yeah they were Cause they knew that it was coming in with these plans. All right. That's a, that's right here. Place uh, peace and harmony needed to take the blindfolds off and keep reassessing the situation at hand. That's what they was listening to out here when they was planning their manipulation. Like, Oh, okay. You want peace and harmony. Ooh. So this is what your last, your past lover did to you for real. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh, so that's what they did to you. Wow. That's fucked up. Damn. That's cold. Mm hmm Because you was out here just blah, 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 blah. Good listener, right? Mm-hmm. Sure was. Sure was. Now they got you right here. Now they got you right here where they wanted you. Okay? They took they was listening to you pour your heart out, right? Healing. Yeah. They was right here listening to you pour your heart out about you what you was going through. And yeah, 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 yeah. Now they got you right here. Right here. Because this is what they was plotting and planning on. I told you you was already this nine of pentacles queen. You were single, but you was going through a heartbreak. Yes. You already had some money out here going on. Yeah. You probably went through a seven of pentacles, something you went through, work frustrations. You had to go through your hardship with your past relationship and it got balanced out in court. So you was able to focus on you now. Move on from that past relationship. Okay. Yeah. And this person just swooped right in, swooped right in and prayed on your vulnerability while you was trying to heal, acting like they was here, listening to you, being mature, like, I got you. I understand. They stupid. They should have never let you go. They are fool for letting you go, Empress. I would never do that to you. Swooped right in, honey. Swooped right in. Yes, they did. When they were really a page, they was never an emperor. And since they got with you, they became this emperor, acting like they the shit now very manipulating i feel like they even want to keep you from friends and family they don't want you around your loved ones because the lover's card out here represents love affairs romance building again within a marriage relationships relatives loving relationships you could share with a friend they try to keep y'all away from y'all friends and family and as soon as you tell them something they get upset Yo, you need to cut that out. Yeah, speedy situation or finish. They shut it down real quick. They don't want you around anybody because they trying to feed off of your bread. And that's the truth. And spirit is like, you need to open your eyes and see the truth and turn your back on this person because they're very manipulating. Yes, they are. They are not supposed to be on your destined path. 
They're blocking it. Yes, they are. You need to get up, leave them alone, and leave them out in the cold and walk away. Because I feel like this person, like I said, they act like they single. Yeah, they do. They act like they single. And they leave you on the cold and they walk away and leave you in this broken heart. And then they act like this king of swords, this emperor, very manipulating and mind manipulating and controlling. They always wounding you. Always wounding you. This person is not to be on your path. They're not your true, they're not your true ace of cups. No, they're not. No, they're not. They're very deceptive. It's all about them and this money. They're very deceptive. They're not your true two of cups. No, the ace of cups. No, they're not. They're not supposed to be on this destined path with you. You gotta let this person go. Okay, with the Ten of Cups out here, Spirit, Ten of Cups is not only just happiness, good things, party and celebrations. This is what this King of Pentacles, this King, yeah, feeding off of your bread or Queen of Pentacles. Take it how it resonates, Collective, okay? Yeah, Spirit is like you need to see the truth in that. All right, change your old ways of thinking, okay? Because the Ten of Cups also mean change your old ways of thinking and, 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 and get out of there and bring justice to your life, honey, okay? Yeah, bring justice to your life. Because this person only married you for the bread. You need to walk away and see shit for what it is. And that's what friends and family is saying. Because they out here wilding out, leave you behind, do what they want, and then come back with their three of... Yeah, very deceptive. They don't... They, there's no love here. This person is not your true ace of cups. No, they're not. No, they're not. Yeah. Break those old paradigms. Okay? My collective, yeah. Yeah. If this is your reading, well... Yeah, Spirit wants you to illuminate this. See the truth. Yeah, wake up, take leadership of your life and leave this person alone. Get on your path, get single. Spirit wants you to see the truth because this person came in very manipulating and put this behind you. Yeah, this person is not your destined person. They're not your, no, they're not. They came in as a front. Yeah, they came in as a front and they trying to isolate you so they can control you and manipulate you and your money. And that's the truth. Spirit is saying, let it go. This person is all for themselves. That's why they married you. They all for themselves. Very selfish. All right, my collective. If you enjoy this read, please like, share, subscribe, hit the notification button. It's your girl, Unknown Goddess Tarot. Do your own thing, boo. Let that person go.